Hello, I'm Natalie. Um, I'm an assistant head teacher here. I'm head of primary, and I'm going to show you around the primary department of the on site provision we have. We have satellite classes elsewhere, the on site provision of our primary department. So, welcome to St Nicholas School. This is the uh, entrance reception area, um, and I'm going to show you around into the primary department. Got some secure doors, it's quite important. So we've got a number of children that just run. Um, they don't know where they're going necessarily, um, but they will maybe run, and that, that can be quite tricky. So we go down this corridor. Um, we've got uh, a hall over here where the children will eat their lunch and do assembly when it's not COVID and performances and that kind of thing, assemblies. We've also got a soft playroom, I'll show that later. There we go, but this way to some classes. So from, from the outside, it doesn't look like a very big school, but actually when you walk in, it's, it's huge. There's loads and loads of corridors. So we, what we do is we organise our, our classes according to animals in primary. Um, and that's quite a fun way of doing it because usually the classes are mixed ages. We try and keep children either in sort of infants and juniors, but sometimes we have to mix it up depending on the needs of the child. So we're going to walk past bear class first of all. Um, bear class... Is a, is a class for children on the autistic spectrum predominantly, and usually then they're, they're sort of pre-verbal, so they're still learning. We come through this door. So many of the classes here are the classes that children, when they first come into uh, St Nicholas School, will be placed into one of these classes. Uh, so we've got Rainbow Fish, which is predominantly reception. Um, we've got Bear Class that we walked past, which is, it, it's, that's an infant class, so there'll be reception year one and year two children, but the curriculum is very tailored towards children with, with, with autistic spectrum conditions, um, where there may be bits of behaviour as well. Uh, we've got Tiger Class, which is for higher needs learners, but they're usually moving around. And we've got Orangutan Class, which is for children who... Um, have high levels of medical needs and they're, they're working on lots of physical skills and early communication things. So, should we have a little look in Rainbow Fish because that's where lots of children first come into our school. Okay. Oh. It's looking, looking fun in here. This is the only class in the whole school which is where all the children are grouped together based on their ages, so it is a reception age class. But because of the numbers that we have, I make decisions about these children are going to work well in Rainbow Fish and then other children might need to go to orangutans or bears or, or to puffins or something like that. So I will make those decisions based on the information I have around the child. But in this class, uh, it's a basic reception class. Um, there's a teacher uh, and a number of TAs, um, depending on the number of children that we've, we've got in Rainbow Fish class. And the focus is about coming into school, learning to say goodbye uh, to mummy, which can be really hard for mummies and daddies and for the children. And so it's a very, it's a very welcoming place, it's a very nurturing place. The first couple of weeks there's a bit of crying, um, but eventually the children learn that it's fun to come to school and there's some really wonderful things that we can do. And, and they make a huge amount of progress. So the children that might not be able to sit on chairs for very long um, will be able to kind of sit and attend and join in and sit to eat and those sorts of things. Because, it, well, in all of our classes, but particularly in Rainbow Fish, the children, uh, all, all aspects of learning, including, you know, eating and toileting things, really, really important parts of their day. So uh, bear class uh, children, as I've said, they're infant age, they're reception year one or year two. Um, they have high levels of communication and interaction needs. So predominantly the children have got autistic spectrum conditions, they're pre-verbal. So we will use things like this. How do you feel today? This is called zones of regulation. So we're thinking about behavior and behaviors for learning. So if you've got a child that we maybe is, is feeling quite grumpy, um, we're going to kind of model that for the children and say, oh, you, you're in the red zone, you're feeling really angry. Uh, you know, what's going to help? So it might be, you know, would uh, a hug help or a snack or something like that? And we're going to teach the children really explicitly about things that they can do when they are feeling distressed because that's, that's quite an important part of their learning. Um, the class is organised into workstations, so each child will have tasks that they've got to do and the idea of this is that they do it independently so it might be something that is actually quite easy for them um, in terms of putting a you know, piece in a puzzle or something but the really important thing is that they do it independently 
Um, and then they're obviously in, in these little teach stations so that they can concentrate on the work that they, that they are doing and they're not distracted. And it really does help with the focus. In Bear Class, they've got their own outside area, um, uh, which is nicely contained. You can hear them having quite a lot of fun out there. There's a swing, there's some area to move around in, some toys and that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going to go over to Orangutan Class, which has children with higher sort of medical needs and physical needs in Orangutan Class. Past all the equipment. That's the toilet, very important. So this is our, our lovely orangutan class here. I'm just gonna come in. Hello, orangutans. Hello. Hello. So this is the orangutan class. Um, and there's a, this is a whole primary class, actually. It's one of the few classes in the whole school that's got children ra ranging from reception age right to year six. Um, and the needs in here, as I say, they're high levels of physical, um, physical needs and medical needs and lots of early communication stuff going on in this classroom. There's a very, very physical and sensory curriculum pace is wonderful and slow because what we're looking for in here is very sort of subtle uh, responses from the children so it might be how their eyes move uh, try, you know smiling that kind of thing to kind of say that they're enjoying what's happening that they're thinking about what's happening and that's the kind of the focus of the learning in this in this room um, staff are all really well trained with sort of medical needs feeding needs those kind of things that that happens a lot in this in this class this is orangutans so as, as you walk around the school, you'll notice that there's lots of li there's obviously classrooms and toilets. I keep going on about toilets; it's very important. Um, there's lots so lots of little rooms as well because what we need to do is sometimes you know work with children individually, perhaps on speech and language targets or maybe you know, music targets or something like that, where they can focus without being um, distracted by the hubbub of, of a class, a busy classroom environment. So the, there's you know rooms. Sometimes they're quite bare, so that there's low levels of distraction. Sometimes they're a bit more engaging. It depends on on the, on the room use. But there's there's a room here. I call that the lilac room. And there's some really good stuff that goes on in the lilac room. Uh, come along this corridor. What you'll notice here, we've got a safe space. Um, so in primary, if we have a child that is in crisis, we might need to move them into the safe space so, that, so they stop hurting themselves or they stop hurting teachers or their friends because we're trying to keep people as safe as possible. So we might need to, to move children into this safe space here. Um, and, but the idea is that we teach the children to say, you know, this is too much, I need some time out. And hopefully by the time they get to secondary or even within primary, they're able to sort of ask for that rather than, I don't know, throwing furniture or biting somebody. They're kind of going, help me, help me to get out of the situation so I don't feel so overwhelmed. And that's what we would use this space for. So we've got um, a little library here. Um, it's 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 a lovely it's a lovely uh, environment. It's under some heaters, so it's quite nice and warm. Uh, but you will see when it's not COVID, you will see groups of children learning in these sorts of shared areas. Um, and we've also got other rooms, a bit like the lilac room, where specific and focused bits of teaching will go on. So that, yeah, we call this the gold star room. It did used to be the library, but we found it really useful to use the space with very focused teaching. So down this end of the corridor, um, you've got some lovely whales on, on the wall, and it leads to the hydrotherapy pool. We're very lucky to have a hydrotherapy pool, and certainly for the younger children, because they're not gonna go out in the community to have swimming lessons. They'll have like a leisure swim. So up this end of the primary department, we've got more, what we would say, key stage two classes. So they are all mixed. So you've got seven to 11 year olds in, well, one of three classes on this side of this building. So come with me through the door. So we've got, again, another small teaching room, which we call the Sunflower Room. Uh, focused bits of learning will go on in there. We've got a sensory room in here. And then through here, we've got other, other, other classes. OK, so this is Toucan class. Um, it's a lovely Toucans. <laughs> 
This is a mixed key stage two class. Most of the children this, in this class are verbal um, and they're able to get on with, with some independent learning. So even though they're aged between seven and 11, they may be working around sort of um, just below a national curriculum level one. I can hear some fun things happening with the toucans. Let's go and see what the toucans are, are up to. So this is meerkat class. Um, meerkat class is a key stage two class and it's a bit like bear class really. So predominantly the children that are in meerkat class are non-verbal uh, ASD children or pre-verbal. So they're still working on you know, functional communication systems. It's, it's very similar to bear class. We'll go in and have a look. So this has got quite a big teaching team and low numbers of children because of the high levels of need and also the high levels of behaviours that can be exhibited in this class. Um, and we're really focusing on independent learning, why you, you would do some bits of learning and like functional communication. Again, we've got zones of regulation and we've got teach stations in these classes which are teaching tools to help children be independent. Mm -hmm.